So on the last episode, I tacked the A-arms together and I was working on the X-bars for this thing. this episode I wanted to try to finish the front suspension so I started by removing the A-arms so I can get them welded Once I had the arms removed, I cleaned them up real good, finished welded everything, and then put a couple coats of clear on it. I ended up using the uh, Eastwood Diamond Clear. I love the look of the gloss, and uh, we'll just have to see if it'll hold up like I think it will.
Shout out to the crew that used to hang out on Pennsylvania Wheeling. What up, Joey? Listen to my six track beats on repeat and tell me they feeling it. <laughs> and maybe they lied, maybe they didn't want to hurt a kid's feelings. But what they did was light a fire, cause now I feel like I'm the illest. A motley bunch who never had much sex, drugs, and pain. Seven old heads kept me clean, pushing me to change. Now I'm 18 and I've been ready. Time to get the fuck out. So I took all this confidence and left my hometown. Don't know what they're doing, don't know where they live But if they can hear me, I'm still grateful for everything they did They believe Alright, so A-arms are welded and cleared Worked on that for several hours last night uh, Just trying to get those welded up Got the ball joints in there, got the covers back on. I mean, the A-arms are back together for good. The problem is, I gotta be careful not to scratch them now. So, anyway, just got some parts in. FedEx guy just drops them off. And they are from Cool Cars, which is a hydraulic, uh, hydraulic company. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the trigger on the hydraulic cylinders being up front uh, instead of the struts and then try to try to use these, well just instead of struts and try to just use accumulators with these things. So I already kind of got a tube made for it. What I'll do is I'll probably split this, put a bracket on there where it bolts together and then I just got to make some tabs to... Uh, hold this thing in here on the strut similar similar something like that and then you can see they're very they're not very intrusive they're not like the big spring coal over setups that were on there um, very minimal <clears throat> so they're not like a big big strut you know there's no spring uh, the accumulator itself will be the spring uh, may ride a little bit rough, but uh, we'll play around with it and see. If I can't, down the road, if I don't like it, I mean, it's just a thing, change it. So, But I really like the idea of it being very minimal, not very intrusive. Um, still has the strut feature that I'm after to kind of stay true to the Fox Body theme, but doesn't take away from the build, doesn't take away from the car. So anyway, back to the box. So. I was waiting on one piece to kind of make these work, and that is a what they call a power ball that goes up top. That's what the top, that's what the strut tower is going to be attached to. Uh, so I'm going to bust those up right now, make sure that those are going to work like I think they will. The only thing I don't like about this is the lines. So the lines are going to come out of the bottom of this thing and have to run across this thing somehow. Um, may do a combination of hydraulic and solid lines try to make it look cool kind of industrial uh, but that's really the only little concern that I've got other than the ride itself uh, I've got some hydraulic cylinders that I bought for the front they're the same length as the backs the only thing about that is I really need a longer cylinder now that I'm gonna run them like this because if this is ride height you want about two or three inches more travel so that thing can kind of move through its cycle whereas this is just topped out right now and it, it wouldn't work I uh, had a lot of had a lot of you guys hit me up about what Finnegan's doing on his C10 uh, with the Mitla brother stuff I was very familiar with that setup uh, I'd seen it before I actually seen it before he was putting it on his truck or about the same time I guess um, I think it's a really cool setup but it's not something that I want to do on this particular build this build there's nothing about it that's like anything else and so I don't want to start putting stuff on it that's like you know what everybody else is doing I mean some of this stuff has been done I know that but it's not like cookie cutter what you see all the time not that the Mittler brother stuff is either but you know it's store-bought I want to kind of make 
you know, I want to build the whole thing from kind of like scratch. That's the idea. And have it totally different. Problem is, two problems, is I need a strut, and those are just shocks. They don't, they don't have struts that I know of uh, for those setups. And then basically what I'm doing is what they're doing. So it's basically a hydraulic cylinder on top of a coilover spring shock setup. Well, that's what I'm doing, except, or at least in the back now, that's what I'm doing. Except for that I'm just separating the hydraulic cylinder and the coilover shock versus putting them together. And I, and I can do one corner for um, like under 200 bucks. Whereas one of those things is like a thousand bucks per corner. So anyway, long story short, couldn't use it up front because of strut. Already kind of doing it in the back. Alright, so the way that these are traditionally made to be used is this particular piece right here, which has this ball in it, is made to mount to the rear end of a car, like that. Or I guess you can mount it in other places. I think the couple places I've seen it, this was mounted to the rear end of the car. And then the hydraulic cylinder itself basically ties in just like that. It's got a bolt that holds it in. And then this thing's able to move around so the rear end itself can kind of articulate like it needs to and not affect the shaft, but also have the hydraulics. Except for the, the way I'm going to use it is this way and this piece will be my strut tower and I can just kind of tie the tubes into this and these things right here are made to be welded and They just unscrew. So you can mount it. You just mount the ball. Actually, I guess you need to put that on first. Then mount the ball. Like that. That's all there's to it. I didn't tighten the screw down so it's got some play in it. Then I'm assuming that this here is like a grease, grease fitting.
Once I had the hydraulic cylinder mounts made to mount them where the struts used to be, it was time to work on the strut towers themselves. So, tacked in some himes and started bending some tubes. This whole process is really, really time consuming because there's so many measurements that you have to take into account. You know, your caster has to be just right, the camber has to be just right. You know, you want to make sure that you have those adjustments still so you can kind of adjust a little bit of the camber, a little bit of the caster. You know, you want the tops of the strut towers themselves, the actual joint. You want the, the angle on those things to be the same from side to side. And there's like five things that you had to make sure were just right. You had to hold it all, 
just perfect before you tacked it and hope that it didn't move. things are designed is I still have a little bit of adjustment so I can still have a little bit of a camber so I can still have a little camber adjustment and a little bit of caster adjustment with those back heims I can kind of manipulate that any way that I need to uh, when I built it I built it with the caster and the camber that I wanted but just in case I need to alter it just a little bit I have I have that ability yeah, it's gonna have to go forward a little bit this is like this piece mm -hmm. So I decided to go ahead and pull the body off this thing. I don't really need the body anymore. I've kind of got all of the main structure that I need. From there, I can add bars uh, without needing the body. The body doesn't have to be there. Matter of fact, it'll be easier without the body. So, pulled it off, came off really easy. Now I can go in there and finish weld a lot of this cage structure, add some more bars where they need to be added. While the body's off, we're gonna get it nice and clean. And then hopefully, once this thing's fully welded, I can put a nice coat of clear on this. Body will be semi-clean. Put it back on there. And off to pits. Anyway, that's all I got for you. As always, thank you for joining me. I will see you guys some more next week. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow. Go do work, son.